Now St. John's is sneaking back in this one. Red took 11 shots, made seven of them in the first half. He's attempted just three shots and made one here in the second half. Singleton guarding our test. Thornton is Brown on it. Postel defended by Red. Postel from the elbow. Our test kept it alive. Jesse stripped by Red. Seven and a half remaining. That was a big empty trip. St. John's had scored six on the entry points, looking to continue that run. Now let's see if the zone's affected getting the wrong guy the basketball. Singleton. Count it. It wasn't Michael Red, the catalyst. They, they have done some terrific things. All four games we've done, Sean, they have just a wonderful under. Here's Red with the turning of the corner. They've got people in the right position. Singleton this time, the beneficiary of a guy who attracts people and loves to give it up as, as, he, as much as he does ringing the bell, Michael Red. What well, an impressive young man Singleton is as we chatted with him a couple of times. Going to get his degree this summer in communications with a minor in political science. Hopes to play basketball, but if not, he's well equipped for the future. Sure is. Very pleasant guy. Great altitude. They go for the pick hide for Barkley. Barkley missed an open three. Postel controlled the rebound. They're going to do a little hop in their step right now. Be sound. But don't be afraid to take it inside and do some damage. Good Lucy post up. Thornton has been quiet lately. Splits a double team and scores. And that's his game, too. He can spring out of there and take a three or post up. He's got that aspect of his game. Thornton has 14 points, only four of them here in the second half. Under seven minutes remaining. Ohio State by eight. Johnson, his pass off the hands of Postel. Penn had it poked away, but right to Johnson, who scored again on a jump hook. He's available. They can't get in front of him, and he's got some touch. He has 12 points, double his average. Postel stripped by Red. Okay, a little bit of a zone look that time, a nice strip, but the availability of Johnson using that three second lane, setting up his condo, and nobody gets a hand in, and developing a lot of confidence in the jump hook as well as the turnaround jumper. The second highest point game of the year for Johnson, a season high, 15 at Vanderbilt, and a loss early in the year. Hard to believe, early in the year, Ohio State lost back-to-back -back games to Vanderbilt and Toledo. Yeah, you're like a bad marriage. You always bring up the past. <laughs> Postel, high arcing three. Timeout, St. John's 22 for LeVar Postel. And that's one response to the zone. I'm not so sure they expected it that deep. That the teams are so similar, I think it comes down to mental toughness. And today we talked about the facial expressions, the body language, not the kind of mental toughness we've come to expect from this St. John's team exhibited today. Penn, a three, there's nobody more mentally tough than him. The vegetable man, give me a bag of those. Oh, onions from deep. Whatever they need, he seems to provide. Scooney Penn. Suddenly Gray, a deep reserve in at crunch time here. With Barkley, our test. Brandon Postel, our test. Settling, settling. Get inside, Ron. And he spent an awful lot of time in this game on the perimeter, and it is a smaller front court. For Ohio State, with the exception of Johnson, perhaps he's intimidated him with the shot blocking. Barkley fouled. Good foul by Brown, though, to make Barkley earn the two, and Barkley's hurt, grabbing at his right hip. Yeah, they have not given up on leak outs for Eric Barkley. Uh, Brown, this trip, as you noted earlier, Scooney Penn. There's no way he comes out, Sean. That's how tough he is. In the open floor, you would assume you're not going to get somebody, but must have got a little knock either with a leg or an elbow. And he just keeps on ticking though. This is one of the great competitors in college basketball. And around for three more years, he's a baby. Barkley two out of five from the line. He made the first. The foul on Brown is third. 12 points now for Barkley. Also a one and one situation now, not a factor on this one because it was a shooting foul. But they are in the bonus. 
And how about that company that Barkley just passed looking for the 500th point of his freshman season. He has it. And he has set the St. John's freshman record moving past Chris Mullen and Felipe Lopez. And pretty impressive credentials. Uh, and, and Barkley and Penn starting to get into it a little bit. So a personal match. I mean, we're going to trap here. They've been nudging, banging one another. Under five minutes remaining with a trip to the final four in St. Petersburg on the line. Straight up man to man. Red. This is where he likes to dominate. And he missed the shot. Reese over the back of Postel. And Reese called for the foul. His second, the team's eighth. It'll be a one and one. Clock can give two freebies at the other end. You got to go behind the fleck. Don't get your body involved if you're a rebounder on the offensive end. Well, Postel's been big tonight, and he continues. So, 23 now. Sunny Gray is going to come back in. 24 for Postel. Now with Chutney Gray coming in, I think Rice is playing Christ the King tomorrow for the Catholic League Championship. Barkley's alma mater. Uh, Bobby Oliva, the coach there. Mo Hicks, the coach at Rice. And pretty solid kids coming out of those programs. 24 for Postel, a season high. The lead down to six for Ohio State. Gray right up on Penn. Hey, don't let Penn get it back and be the key for Chudney. Red still not getting many shots. A lot of contact. No whistle. Shot clock seven. Singleton. Mm, what a post entry. Two tough guys banging one another in Gray and Penn and still Scooty able to find. And Gray wincing along the far sideline as he comes into the front court for St. John's had that collision with Penn that was on call. And Brown a little too frisky up on Bootsy Thornton, and that's four on Brian Brown, an excellent on-the-ball defender. Well, you usually expect it to be physical underneath the rim, but all of a sudden they're teeing it up outside. As he tries to right himself, mm. Chunny takes some shot. And fortunately for Scooney, he stayed upright, found the post pass. Little kiss delivery uh, by Jason. I don't think we'll see anything, and hopefully we won't, to rival that collision between Mateen Cleaves and Eduardo Nahara last night. Fortunately, they both got back up and continued to play later on. Incredible, wasn't it? And they, they apparently Mateen's fine, and also Nahara. They claim they did all the tests. Mm -hmm. They feel he's fine as well. Bootsy Thornton with a one and one. The next Ohio State foul will be two shots the rest of the way for St. John's. Lutzi has 15, two out of two now from the line. But the only thing that upset him, I think, is not having his Baltimore hat this trip, the Oriole hat. <laughs> <laughs> he has had his friend Antonio Freeman of the Green Bay Packers cheering him on. Their childhood chums from Baltimore. Under four minutes left, a seven point lead. And Ohio State demonstrating patience with the lead on the offensive end. Red. Pretty look. Oh, my goodness. Got to squeeze the pill. Squandered opportunity there for St. John's. It was touched by Johnson, but then Postel couldn't save it. Timeout in Knoxville. Once again, Ohio State is surviving when being out-rebounded. For complete tournament coverage, go to cbs.sportsline.com. Shot clock a factor. Red a runner. Hit the side of the backboard. Red again. In and out. Rebound our test. And boy, they are kicking and getting that glass and attacking it. Ohio State without the rebounding. Able to spread guys out and make sure the right guys handle it late in the clock. Bootsy Thornton. Dumped it off to our test. Our test blocked again by Johnson. He has been such a factor. Six blocks. Singleton. Acrobatic score. Oh, oh. Call the chiropractor. Oh my goodness. Able to hang and twist. All because of great defense by Johnson. What a presence. What a sequence. That could be the key. Two possessions back to back in the game. Johnson pops out on that hedge, gets back, always sniffing out in the lane, looks to check out, 
Postel a little bit deep for that three, and Scooney Penn has another rebound. Is seven. Barkley is six rebounds, all the offensive end. They can afford to use some time here. Penn so confident to give it to guys, and they'll make the right decision. Red had trouble on the dribble. They're going to foul. He's not a bad guy, too. Foul 61% from a line. But St. John's, when Johnson blocked that shot, had a chance to get closer than it had been at any time in the second half. And just look how he lingers around, too. Uh, gets that angle to deflect the basketball and generally keeps it alive. And Scooney, the draw, the dish, and oh, my goodness. Was that some hang time and maneuver in that body? Count the vertebrae. You may have lost one. And 13 points for Singleton in limited playing time because he's been saddled with foul trouble again tonight. He doesn't want his career to end. Two minutes left. Gray fouls. Barkley is four, so he cannot commit another foul. Foul on Gray, his first. And that's team foul number five, so they still can give one more foul before it's the one and one. They might want to do it again. Yeah, Mike, Mike's trying to play straight up. I thought they might give it just to get in that situation. Three ball controlled by Johnson. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. 23 to shoot. A double red. He finds Johnson. He finds Singleton. Bad pass. Our chest knocked it away from Johnson. Down by nine. Barkley a spin. A block by Johnson. Our chest. Thornton. They know Johnson's there. This time a foul by Johnson. And a chance for a three-point play. And John, what a great presence by Ron Artest on that delivery. He went in, ready to take the hit, didn't charge, deftly dished it off with the left. And just nice, this is earlier, Barkley with a great run, the recovery by Artes, and now get to the rim. And Thornton, who does this beautifully, able to take a hit and knock it down. Three fouls on Johnson. Louis knows they needed that one. Timeout called by St. John's. It'll be a full timeout. The Red Storm down by seven with a minute and a half remaining in Knoxville. Passing, go up strong, initiate contact just to make sure the ref has to make a decision on you. Rootsy Thornton at the line trying to finish a three-point play. The closest they've been in the second half is six at 53-47 with 12-23 left. And they're back within six now with 128 left. As you mentioned, Barkley can't give the foul. So somebody's going to have to, Ed Gray does. Good play. Smart. And they'd rather not foul Penn from now on because he is their best free throw shooter. You know, Jim O'Brien's going to do everything he can to get the ball in Scooney's hands. Well, foul on Gray is second. And so check how quick his feet are. Barkley's playing him, and he's still able to get free. Here they automatic switch. Look at him step and go. Too many people. They get the walk. Zabovich traveled right in front of the Red Storm bench, and Mike Jarvis helped with the call. So anytime you have two people in the same area, it brings ultimate demise. You can see easy call for the officials. Was clearly a travel. So now the Red Storm with a chance to get closer than they have been here in the second half. Bootsy Thornton looking to get it to our test. Jesse, he travels. Steps. Oh, catch and shoot. A lot of guys, you can see Louie, who's been in positions like this before. It's tougher in the stands, I think, for Louie. But right here, they, you can no question about the call. Mm -hmm. But I think they should have pried a little bit more on Artes or Bucci Thornton take the dribble into that elbow area. Brown uses a timeout. He couldn't get it in. Will it be a 20 or a full? That's the question they're asking full. Jim O'Brien. You saw him say full. 120 left. Ohio State now hanging on a bit with this six point lead. Will send Ohio State to the line. Get it into Penn. Rather not foul him, but they may not have a choice. Postel couldn't get there. Barkley can't foul. He has four. Our test deflected it out of bounds. And Penn went down hard. That should, I think that was off Penn. I saw Artes that came down on his body. This is a little bit of a break. And you can see oh, yeah, the hits end. his yeah. arm. He kind of. He got away with one. 
Gave it a fling out of bounds with that iron. He thought he was fouled. He got up looking at Gene Monji looking for a foul. Brown lost it. Our test banked it off a of Buckeye. It's St. John's ball. Our test also could have let that one go because it hit Brown last there and was going out of bounds. He thought Brown might save it if right. he didn't throw I it off so. Brown. I think he could have let it go. You're right. Mm -hmm. uh, a case of controlling your emotions and handling. That's why Penn is to take over. This end is Barkley. One minute to go. St. John still alive. Barkley, strong drive, no good. Postella tip, out of bounds. It'll be St. John's ball. The officials conferred and agreed that Mike Jarvis's team will play it in. They reset the shot clock to 35. That shouldn't be a factor. They want to shoot quickly. Now, Artest has Johnson. He can do some damage on the drive here on the big guy. Artest does drive, and it stays down for Artest. It's a four-point game. Got to get their denial. Don't let Penn touch. Remember, Ohio State is a poor free-throw shooting team. Penn's their best at 74 percent, and he's fouled. And look at that. I love that. You mentioned Jason Sigler. Did you see him run over to help out? A good giveaway by Bootsy Thornton. The crowd thought he was overzealous. Foul on Thornton is first, the team seventh, so it's a one and one for Penn. Their best free throw shooter at 74%. He was four for four from the line against Auburn. A couple of those in real pressure pack situations Thursday night. Two for two from the line tonight. Used it all. There's Scooney's mother, Allegra Penn, has made the trip from Massachusetts where she has worked on an assembly line in a GE plant for 20 years. God bless her, huh? And what a joy to see her son performing like this. And what a tough decision to leave BC. Mm -hmm. His home area, friends and teammates. Two free throws by Penn. Somehow you knew he'd make goals. Mm -hmm, no question. The push now, and he does a nice job not letting Barkley touch. Do you need a three now, Bill? I think you got to score quick. They're going to end up taking the three, I think. I'd go to the goal real fast, get set defensively. Chudney Gray, an unlikely score, gets it back down to four. The time's running out, 34 seconds left, and they foul Red quickly. Postel committed the foul, his second. The team's eight. Here's Red at the line for a big one and one. First free throw of the game, no good. Rebound Artest, St. John's down four. Artest, driving down the lane, all the way to the goal, it's a two-point game. And nobody stepped up to deny him, they gotta deny now, get it to Penn if they can, Ohio State. They get it to Reese, they should have fouled him if they had the chance, now it's back in Penn's hands. Brown bumped hard by Gray. Right at the midpoint line with 19.2 seconds left. And that was just terrific understanding by Chudney Gray, though. You go for the steal, and you make sure there's an in. And this is the last one and one. 19 fouls now. Any more free throws for Ohio State would be two. It rattles out. Two to tie. Three for the lead. And perhaps the trip to the final four for the Red Storm. Gray fouled by Reese. And he will shoot two. Woo. And Jimmy looks on. It's in the control of the players. You got to stop dribble penetration. They've had trouble the last couple of trips. The strong left hand. You can see Reese never gets in position. A tough match for him at that point in the game. What an unlikely player to be in the spotlight. 22nd timeout called by Ohio State. Chudney Gray. Nine years ago to leukemia was raised by his grandmother Nellie Claiborne. Chudney Gray, the most important free throws of his life, some of the most important in St. John's history. Sabovich checks in. Brown goes out. Still a two-point lead, one free throw remaining for Gray. He makes it, they're gonna call a timeout. He made it. It's a one-point game with 12.2 left. And a timeout called by St. John's, a full timeout. Back win, they're gonna have to do it without the benefit of setting it up out of a timeout. And they get Gray before it's inbounded, and uh, Mike Jarvis says it's okay. He was told that timeout, don't let him catch it, he just was hanging on for dear. Two shots from the line for Penn, four for four tonight. Eight in a row, dating back to the game on Thursday night, and there's a miss. 
gave it a chance. That's all you ever ask of a player. Singleton returns. Sanderson goes out. And Johnson's going to come back in for defense with Slavovich taking a seat. No timeouts for St. John. If it's a miss, obviously the rebounding is critical. This change, they think two all the way now. Two to tie, three perhaps for the win for St. John's in the final 10 seconds. Barkley lost it, stripped by Penn. Red, he should fall, and he does with .7 left. Our test rode him a long time before fouling Michael Red. And Mike Jarvis wants Eric Barkley over. He's so despondent he was going to try and calm him down. Uh, the old mentor looking on. It's a player's game. A high pick and roll. He got caught up in a little bump as he turns the corner. Our test with the bump. And you just see that little bang defensively causes all the problems. Now Red with no teammates along the lane. He'll shoot two. 0 for 1 from the line. If he makes this one, it is certainly over. If not, St. John's has a chance for a miracle, but it'd have to be a long knee with just seven tenths left. Catch and turn. They have a chance for a miracle. Barkley, it's offline. Ohio State goes to the final four. picture that is you if you know anything of the story of Jim O'Brien regardless of which team you are cheering for you have to be happy for him he lost his wife a few years ago at the age of 41 to a heart attack he's raised two raised two daughters by himself he left his alma mater in controversy Boston College a school he loved because of a problem with the administration moved to Ohio State where he was a stranger finished last in the Big Ten last year and one year after finishing last in the Big Ten, he's in the Final Four. The Buckeyes there for the first time since 1968. And O'Brien will be matched up with his longtime rival, Jim Calhoun. He runs into another former Boston coach. Calhoun won the last 18 meetings head-to-head -head when O'Brien was at Boston College. And Calhoun has been at Connecticut. The players of the game from Chevrolet are Ken Johnson. Seven block shots really affected the St. John's offense inside, and LeVar Postel kept them in it when they struggled early on. Final score, Ohio State 77, St. John's 74. Stay tuned for Greg Gumbel after this message.